plus is in session people hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is tabang and i enjoy doing makeup and yeah <laughs> ah, i'm always nervous the first five seconds of shooting a video but then i just quickly get over it and i'd just like to mention that today's video is a little bit under the influence uh yeah i just had lunch and i ordered a savannah and it just kicked in like 30 minutes after like finishing the bottle and i've only had one and i'm feeling it right now but i am still gonna power through i need to shoot a video and it is what it is i can't believe i'm so old like a1 like just one drink and i'm already like i need a nap <laughs> i need to sleep it off like i am old i'm old anyway i've got my how many uh, 400 liters 400 milliliters sorry of water to not take that nap uh with lemon yes i'm old guys i'm old yo uh -uh. Mm -hmm. now that's out of the way today's video is going to be a colorful look natural colorful look <laughs> this is as close as i'll ever come to a natural look I say every time I'm like I need to film a natural look. I need to film a natural look and then I never get to doing it This is as close as we're gonna get. I promise you you'll get it one day. That day is not today, but keep on watching <laughs> I'm gonna be using a combination of palettes for today's look I'm thinking I want to tap into that color right over there and just to brighten it up a little bit I'm gonna take this palette and deepen it with that red, but I'm the thing about this shade within the Modern Mattes palette from Beauty Treats is that it tends to go red. This is sort of like a pinkish red. Uh, as it blended out, it tends to go pink, but I'm wanting a red shade. So I'm going to go in with both of these colors and see what happens. I'm going to start off by taking this red shade here and putting it on my crease. I'm just tapping into this. If I haven't already mentioned, I love the Beauty Treats palettes. However, they are dusty, which is why you must do your foundation last, but they're super affordable and very pigmented. I'm just going to stamp this above the crease. Okay, I just hit this pigment, but like, don't play me, beauty treats, don't play me. I'm just going to pack on. I like to start off by stamping on the color, just so that it is, and what's the word, like the pigment is like a lot. I find that packing it on and then swiping later really does make a difference and yeah I'd advise you to do the same and then you can swipe it on a little bit later so I'm going to do that for both sides of my eye before I start to blending and I'm just doing that just above my crease my crease is the the crease is the folds within your eyes so I'm just putting it up above the fold of my eye like if I look directly at you guys you can see those folds um but if i um extend my lid like that you can't really see those folds so i'm just applying above those folds let me know if you want me to because i think i'm working on the assumption that everybody knows what like a crease is the lid let me know if you want me to go in detail in like the rest of my videos and my future videos um how deep you want me to go with like regards to like descriptions of what I'm doing or if this is already sufficient like I don't want to be like the crease and explain what the crease is but you guys already know what it is so kind of be like pointless I'm gonna take a super fluffy brush um, I started with an angled brush sorry because I prefer to use an angled brush um, on my crease because I have a small lid space now I'm gonna go with a much fluffier brush uh, just to blend out those edges um, below my my lashes eyebrow okay i'm a 20 something year old woman who still gets confused about what's eyelashes and what's eyebrows let's all pray for me okay awesome at this point i'm now going to tap into a deeper darker shade to deepen out the outer corner so i'm gonna switch to the nyx swear by it palette i swear by this palette i love it love it love it i ride hard for this palette it's it's such a blessing to my <laughs> eyeshadow game i am gonna go into that deep drop i almost hit brown but i'm gonna go into that deep brown shade and deepen up my outer corner Okay, 
I want to deepen this look a little bit more, so I'm just going to dunk my brush in that black shade. Uh, it's appearing grayish, bluish in the palette, but it, it, I think it is black. Let me swatch it before I make false accusations. Yep, it's pretty black. I'm going to go into that dark shade and just deepen the outer corner. Just a touch, a tiny, teensy little bit, see, but okay. What was that? Just deepening that outer corner. I'm literally just touching the edges right here. This just adds dimension to the eye, intensifies stuff. And what I like to do, uh, because I have hooded eyes, I like to extend the shadows to the end upwards though not downwards i know i keep swiping down i should not be doing that i should be swiping out just so that it gives the illusion of a much bigger eye space as you know by now i have a small lid space so we gotta do take the extra time extra work to create the illusion of a bigger eye yeah <laughs> to cut the crease i take my la girl pro conceal in the yellow corrector shade and I just plop a bit of it on the back of my hand and take a small flat brush what I do is take that brush take a little bit of the concealer dab my um, brush in it as much as possible and then I'm gonna do a very high cut crease that goes above my fold so what I do is I just lay down the color here right at the bottom and then I look up so what that does is it transfers the color from the bottom of my lid to the top of my lid to where my fold ends. Um, I don't typically like to do, do this um, only because the look sometimes tends to be a little bit too dramatic. So I like to just leave it to my lid, not above my fold, but today we're just going for the drama. So I'm just, I just applied conceal on the other side of my eye. I'm looking up and sideways and as you can see, it's transferred to um, to the top part of my lids, and then that I know that part is my cut crease, and then I just go on with my I go on with my brush and just carve out my crease. Sometimes it gets messy. Sometimes I um. Sometimes it does get messy, let's be honest. Um, so what I like to do is then just go over where the concealer might have touched. I go over it with the color that I laid down. So just to sort of clean up the look a little bit. Now, with my cut crease, I'm just going to go... I'm going to go into my, that eye with this shade. For some reason, the shadows always pick up more. Your fingers always pick up more product with your... The finger always picks up too much product with your finger. Using your finger picks up more product to place onto your lid than a brush. They, I don't know the science behind it. Ask Isaac Newton or whoever. Okay, I don't know. All right. But that's what tends to happen. Just using my finger, I'm going to take that shade and plop it on to my lid. Ooh. Okay, this was not a bad decision at all. Sometimes it's good to not be so over the top, tabang. <laughs> just gonna go in there, just lay it down. And when you're applying initially, don't worry about the sharp edges between like that darker shade and your shimmery lid shade. Keep going, we're gonna attend to that in a bit. I'm gonna take a flat brush. Um, I don't know if you can see, just black brush and go into the back into the beauty treats palette pick up that red shade and just go around that lid um that shimmery shade that i just laid down just to re-emphasize Alrighty, i'll be right back when my makeup is done um to just close off this look Okay, I'll be right back. 
Hey guys, um, this is the final look. What I did to complete the eyes is I took that shade right there that I started with and I just ran it along my lower lash line um, on both sides and then I took the brown shade I think in the same palette and just ran it along this edge just to connect the deeper parts. Um, and then one thing, yeah, I did remove that part right there and I blended the dark shade on the corner some more because it was looking a little bit harsh on camera i just reviewed the footage and yeah that's what i did please let me know what you think of this look and yeah i'm pretty impressed i love it i love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> but um thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting please like share subscribe um, not uh, click the notification bell to get notified every time I upload. Yes, I appreciate your support. Please also comment, like DM me. Let's get to know each other some more. I will respond to your DMs and throw me some looks that you'd like me to create and yeah, I'll create them. Why not? I'll see you next time. Ow, 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 ow. I'll see you next time. <laughs> The brows in this channel are funky, if you don't know, welcome, welcome to the family of brows, are not our friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, come down.